Good morning, everyone. This is Renee here. I'm going to talk to you about how to start a meditation practice. And as you can see, I'm sitting here all ready to go, but I wanted to shoot this quick video and tell you about what meditation is, how to do it, and just how to get you started off in case you've never done that before and you want to start and you've wondered, how exactly do you do meditation? Do you just sit there? Are you doing nothing? Tell me all about it. So first I'm going to talk about the posture and what to sit on when you're doing your meditation practice. Basically, you want to sit on something that's going to allow you to have a nice tall spine and support your bottom. So what I'm sitting on right now is this cushion here that's called a meditation cube. I got this from a store in town near me and they make meditation cushions and things like that. This is stuffed with buckwheat hulls and it's very comfortable. Um, but there's also the more traditional round cushion that you'll see, or you might have seen at some point. Um, but I love the meditation cube, it's a perfect height for me. And it takes some experimenting to find out what kind of uh, cushion works for you or what kind of setup. So what I like to do is to sit in this kneeling posture like this. It's very, very comfortable for me for a longer uh, period of sitting. My legs don't fall asleep. But you can also sit cross-legged, kind of like this. That's very common. Um, this does not work for me, so I don't sit this way, but many people do, and it works perfectly. The, the trick is, is to kind of experiment on your own and find a sitting posture that works, where your, your legs don't fall asleep in a minute. So, so, the other thing you can do is, you don't have to go out and buy anything. You can simply just sit on a hard chair or any piece of furniture that you have, sitting on the edge of that chair and sitting up nice and tall. That's really the most important thing. Um, if you're really flexible and you could sit in a full lotus on the ground with nothing, that's great. I can't do this for 30 minutes, only for a couple of minutes. But um, don't worry about being able to sit in a lotus. Just find some place to sit comfortably and sit nice and tall and upright. So what do you do with your hands when you're doing meditation? Well. If you go to certain meditation groups, they may have a certain posture and format they want you to follow. But if you just want to do your own thing, you don't have to follow a, the way of a certain group. You can just do whatever feels natural to you. Um, some groups will have you hold this mudra right here. We have the left on top of the right, thumbs slightly together, and the hands just rest in your lap. Um, you can follow this. Sometimes what I do is I just put my hands one on top of the other. Just It comes very naturally to me and that is perfectly fine. As you're sitting, um, I, I think there's, what do you think about? What do you focus on? Well, let me just say the first thing I want you to, to realize is that when you're doing meditation, the goal is not to clear your mind. Uh, that's not going to happen. What is going to happen is you're going to sit down, get comfy, get situated. You start and then thoughts come rushing in and then they leave and then more come rushing in and then you have a moment of presence and then more come rushing. That's the job of the mind. You're not going to get rid of that. What you do want to focus on is not attaching to those thoughts. And what that means is you want to be able to see the thoughts coming in and instead of engaging back with them and starting this conversation in your head or you're rehearsing something or you're, you're thinking and analyzing is to not get into that, not right now. <laughs> so, is to just notice, oh, I'm thinking about work, or oh, I'm thinking about, you know, something else that happened. And um, bring your awareness to your physical sensations. What do you feel in your body? Where do you feel sensation in your body? Do you feel tightness somewhere? Do you feel um, any discomfort? Or I mean, you may say, oh, I'm really feeling my knees. This is uncomfortable for my knees. Um, anything. So the goal meditation is to practice presence in this moment right now. So, um, so that's a little bit about what to sit on, what posture, and I think you can be pretty loose about things like I was saying before. Again, if you go to a meditation group, if you were to look up meditation groups in your area, you can find some and they're going to have their own way and that's fine. Um, but I think really the goal is, is the, and the number one rule I would say is to not move, to have 
stillness. So that means if the wind blows and, uh, or say you have a ceiling fan on and then <clears throat> a strand of hair blows across your cheek and it tickles you, don't scratch. Or you have an itch or you, you're sitting and you're like, I swear there's a bug crawling on my leg or something like that. Don't turn and look or don't scratch. And uh, it can be really hard to resist that. But what we want to do is to sit with those feelings when they come up. Oh, I have this itch. I can't scratch. What happens? Where does my mind go? And it's interesting all the drama and all the stories and all the thoughts that the mind is going to kick up when you don't allow yourself to move and immediately react and respond to those thoughts and those feelings so it's a very good exercise so aside from a sneeze or, an, or a cough which are involuntary try to sit with whatever you're feeling if you're feeling terrible sit with that discomfort be with that discomfort whatever it is be with it meditation is a time to be fully present with yourself and whatever is going on physically emotionally mentally whatever and it can be a challenge uh, what i like to do is i like to set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes or however long you have or however long you want and just use that time to give to yourself to reconnect with yourself that's really what, to me, what meditation is. It's giving yourself a gift of complete and unconditional presence, as well as it's a time for you to calm down, decompress, and one great thing about it is it's a time where you don't have to do anything, which I know for some of us, that's really hard. If you're someone like me who's always on the go, always doing something, meditation is the time where you're like, you give yourself this permission to not perform, to not have a goal, to not be going. You can just simply be. What a wonderful thing that is. I think it's great. Um, it's a time you can reconnect with yourself, with your inner child, if you do inner child work, with your physical body. Just focus on your breath. So if you're like, what am I thinking about? I got all these racing thoughts, oh my gosh. Just focus on the breath or the physical sensations. Or sometimes what I will do is I'll start by focusing on the breath and then I'll turn my attention inwards and say, okay, what is my body feeling? And I was, I was doing my meditation last night and I felt this tightness like right here in my chest that was coming up to my throat. And just sit with that. Don't try to change it. Don't judge it. Just notice it, observe it. So as we do meditation, what we learn to do is to observe our feelings instead of immediately react to it. Oh, I got a niche or something like that. So observe yourself. It allows you to have this space between my thought and my reaction. It's a place of, of power when you're able to do that is to be calm enough and grounded enough to observe. So that's a little bit about meditation. Um, how often should you meditate? Well, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I think there is benefit to doing meditation every day. Um, honestly, I could say I have not always been faithful in doing that. I'll go through periods where I do regularly and then I get out of it and then I get back into it. So, but I think it's definitely something really good for us to practice being still, being alone, and being present with ourselves. So the more you can work that into your day, the better. Uh, it's a great way to start out the day. Just set aside 10 minutes or even five minutes, whatever you have, to just be present with yourself. Or you can do it at the end of the day when you're winding down. Whatever works best for your schedule. And if you don't get it in every day, don't worry about it. Don't judge yourself. Just pick up the next day where you left off. Try again, okay? So if this helps you, please let me know in the comments below. I hope it did. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them for me below. Thank you.